Bob Nightingale, legendary columnist from USA Today. He told us that. Uh, Bob joins us from Phoenix. He was at the Giants-Diamondbacks game, and he'll see the Phillies take on the Diamondbacks. Then he's going to Barry Bonds' retirement ceremony on Saturday. Bob, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Sure, my pleasure, Dan. Uh, what do you expect to happen at Barry Bonds' retirement ceremony? Oh, I think it'll just be a wild, euphoric uh, weekend where people go nuts and say, why isn't this guy in the Hall of Fame? I think it'll be a, just a, a huge love fest. And this guy meant everything that franchise. Do you think he says that? Does he use the platform to say anything about the Hall of Fame? I don't think he does. I think he'll say, you know what, this is awesome. If I if I get into the Hall of Fame, it's great. If not, so be it. But I don't I don't think he'll send a message here. I really don't. All right. Uh, a couple of things here. Mike Sosha stepping down at the end of the season, or at least those are the reports uh, you wrote that he wanted to do this quietly. But uh, the timing of this with these young talents like Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, uh, I found surprising. But why is Mike Sosha stepping down? You know, just 19 years. And the only guy who has a longer tenure right now is Greg Popovich of the Spurs. And I just think it's being him up. Uh, you know, the pitching staff's been in disarray for years. I'm not sure they can, they can contend next year either. And I just think he's had enough. You know, he's told his friends, told his family. Uh, I don't want to manage after this, you know, maybe change his mind in a few years, but I don't think he's going to be a special assistant. Nothing. I think he's just going to uh, vacation in Europe and, and do fun things. He's never been able to do after his playing career, you know, in, in managerial career, like let's have some fun in life. How coveted is this job? Oh, very coveted. I mean, you're in, uh, you know, you're in Anaheim, you're, you know, beautiful area. Uh, you got Mike Trout on your team. Uh, you got a Hall of Famer in Pull Holes. You got Otani. So I, I think Billy Upper, we got hundreds of resumes. But it's interesting. Eric Chavez, the former, uh, the former All Star third baseman, you know, he's going to start managing at, at Salt Lake, uh, you know, this final month here. And uh, you got a Brad Ausmus also in, the, in that organization, uh, the, the former Tigers manager. Hmm. So you got two, you know, great in-house uh, candidates right there, along with Josh Paul, the bench coach. If I gave you the Red Sox or the field this year, who would you take? I would take the field, man. Just, I mean, Houston is so good. I mean, I know the Red Sox sort of, you know, historic pace and everything else, but that Astro rotation is just unbelievable. And uh, kind of the dark horse is Cleveland. People forget about how good Cleveland is. I think Cleveland's got a chance to surprise people, too. So I still think the World Series goes through Houston hmm. just because of that rotation. Yeah, I like Cleveland being sneaky great, too. How close were they to getting Bryce Harper, in your opinion? I don't think close. Okay. I think if the Nationals had traded Harper, it just would have been such an uh, embarrassing season. I mean, already it's been the most embarrassing they've ever had because they have more talent than even the National League, and they're not playing like it. You know, they're hanging around, but they shouldn't be chasing the Phillies and, and the Atlanta Braves. Uh, you know, you trade Harper, you're not going to get them back either. It's like when the Red Sox thought they'd get re-signed John Lester. But once Lester left, he goes, you know what? I found out, you know, being the other side. So he got signed with the uh, Cubs and win a, win a World Series. I think if they let Harper go, uh, he, he would have been gone forever as well. Aaron Judge's wrist. It seems like a little bit more of a problem here than the Yankees thought. Uh, what is what is the prognosis with that? I mean, he's still supposed to be back by the end of the month. I mean, now they're so far behind the Yankees. It's like, you know, why push it too much? And, uh, you know, any hand or wrist injury to hit her uh, can be a nightmare. And I think that's what's going on here. They just want to be very, very cautious and make sure that, you know, when he comes back, you know, he, he stays back. Uh, you know, he's showing right now what he means, that club, because mm -hmm. they're not, they're just not the same team without him. Yeah, but you're trying to, as you said, you know, you're, you're basically out of the race now, nine and a half games back. You know, there's no rush to bring Aaron Judge back anytime soon, is there? There's not, although you got to be a little careful with the uh, Oakland and Seattle playing like they are. I mean, Oakland's just two and a half games back in the wild card. Uh, so they've got to be a, a little cautious. I mean, the schedule will ease up and everything else. And they do play Boston six, seven times uh, the last two weeks. But maybe by then, you know, Red Sox will have it so sewn up 
where they can just kind of uh, re- relax and uh, the Yankees win some games. And the Yankees, you know, will still get a wild card spot, but they can't let up on the uh, pedal too much. You were talking about the teams in the American League, uh, the Red Sox, Astros, Indians, best team in the National League, Dodgers? Dodgers or Cubs, almost a coin flip. I don't like the Dodgers, you know, outside Kelly Jansen. I think they have a hole there in the uh, back end of the bullpen uh, where the Cubs have those guys. So uh, almost a coin flip between the two. But the difference between the two leagues now, it's like it's like winner of the NCAA going against the winner of the NIT. I mean, it's just such a huge disparity wow. between the two leagues. I mean, the best four or five teams in baseball are all in America League. Good stuff, Bob. Thank you, as always. And uh, have fun at Barry Bonds' retirement ceremony on Saturday. Okay. I'll think of you, buddy. Thank you, Bob. Bob Nightingale, USA Today columnist. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.